Right, I've finished the antenna now. As you see, most of it's done. I've done a slightly different build to the instructions, but I'll give you a close up of the coils. Now, on the top here, I went for this system here. So I can just really attach any antenna I want now with just through some adapters and stuff like that. I suppose sticking to um, an antenna rod, I suppose. But it's fully adjustable and stuff like this. This is the coil. I had a little bit of trouble with my fittings that I had to actually make up here. Um, originally, I done a show. Um, I used um, a nail, no nail stuff. But I found out even overnight, it's formed a skim and inside was still very moist. And I thought it would be months before that set. So in the end, I scooped it all out and used um, epoxy. But I made certain that the fact that I did actually put the wire brush all over the fittings and, and just roughed it up a little bit. Um, so to make sure it had a good fit in there. Along the coils here, I just again I spaced them out and used my glue gun just gone along here and it seemed to grip quite well actually. The the coils themselves to join the coils together, if I can just clip it, I just use one of these little clips here. Um, which hopefully, if you can just see, will just join into this one here. Just to make it a little bit easier rather than using screws or uh, anything like that. Um, but when the antennas are actually assembled I'll give you a little bit better view of it. Right, just to show you this really, this is the, I got the antenna set up now, and this is my little SWR here, so this is it, I have to put it in CW, this little one, this is my little tr transportable um, receiver, which I use quite a lot for QRP use, I find it absolutely superb, so the antenna's outside in the garden, um, as you can see, on the 20 meter band okay I have to put it on CW for a continuous wave but it's really just to show you what the SWR is achieving so it's it's pretty near on perfect SWR coming out of that I dare say if I played with the little coils a little bit further um, I could probably get it better than that but you know I just made a contact um, to one of the extrusion states just now and um, I got a pretty good res um, report and um, this set is a, is a QRP 5 watts maximum it's probably batteries are down so it's probably doing about 3 watts at the moment and um, he gave me a 5 by 7 and um, seemed quite impressed so there you go um, I'm going to have a little tune around a little bit more play around and see what else I can get